This is a 15 and a half inch wide strip of zip sheathing. It's actually 15 and a quarter because between these joists is like 15 and a half, a little bit more than that. I just sheeted the bottom of my floor. A lot of times you'll see people have to take sheets of plywood and go up underneath their house and try and put that in place. <clears throat> and I am not nimble or interested in doing that. <laughs> so, this is the way we're doing it. It's taking up a little bit more of this cavity so the insulation that we have is gonna be compacted just a little bit. Is that good or bad? It's probably bad because you really want the full cavity to be expanded. Why? Um, it's just the way that insulation works. It's like the more air you can take up, the better off you are. So it's nine and a half inches thick. I think from the t from where the the seven sixteenth zip shit sits to the top of this is about seven and a half inches. So it will be compressed just a little bit, um, but I can live with that. But can the safety inspector? No. One of the things I'm hoping for in this project is to get better with using a circular saw because I've never been very good at it and like using a table saw that was easy. Take that up, great, but it's handheld saws and trying to get straight cuts on them even when you're using a square. Unless I've like clamped it down, I'm just not very good. We're going to zip tape the bottom side of the seams in the middle. Uh, it's not something I'm going to do anytime soon, but it will happen eventually. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just spray. Well, I guess I'll brad nail first and then spray foam around. Once all that's done, we'll start laying insulation and get as much of the subfloor on today as we can. It's supposed to rain in like probably four hours at this point, so we need to get a move on it. In the container? Or, oh, okay. Well, it's only one more wagon load. So everything is now nailed in using these brad nails and we just need to hit everything with spray foam this like pest protect spray foam and I've got some gaps that are a little large so I've got some strips of zip sheathing that I'm just gonna 
put spray foam down, nail the strip, the strip of zip over it, and then spray foam a little bit more around it, and that should keep it nice and rodent and insect proof. But my lovely assistant is now here with ice cream sandwiches. Assistant? So I'm gonna take some, take a break and me? help my assistant. So we got a dozen cans of this stuff. And I really hope it's enough. Each one can do two bays, like, or I guess four bays total with this blocking. Then that would be enough, but <clears throat> we'll see how this goes. What time does Home Depot close? I think nine. Move a little faster. Yep. There you go. You got it. It is now three o'clock in the morning. It hasn't rained yet, and we have three rows completed. We're doing like about a row an hour, but we seem to be getting faster. So we're gonna keep this up and try and get this done. It might be a bit of an all-nighter, but it's gonna rain for the next two days, so we're just gonna rest this weekend and get as much done as we can before the weather hits. If we do have decent weather, I might lay out some of the walls, but right now I just want to get this done and go to bed. for dinner in our new house maybe on our new house not really in I'm gonna get a roof and some walls to be in but for now we do have some soup and a grilled cheese waiting for us get these last two rows done but Right now, we just need to keep moving.
pretty good. Good afternoon, everybody. So after two days of rain and rest, we are finally back at it again. According to Casey's workout monitor, we worked for about, oh, 16 hours on that subfloor and rim joists. This is where we finish the subfloor. I need to cut a strip and put over that insulation right there. Um, but we were really trying to keep that bit protected the most. The rest of this is fairly well covered with subfloor. Um, but we just didn't want it to get wet. Like buckling on subfloors. Never good. You end up with having to sand edges down and your floor isn't flat. So if you can keep the rain off of it, it'll be a whole lot better. Alright, I gotta figure out how to get all this rain off here to start with. 